There are a ton of fans in costume here at Comic-Con, and some of them are pretty elaborate. And I was now, able now to ask recording. them a few questions so, about their uh, outfits. How long did it take for you guys to put your uh, your costumes together? One costume. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Let's see the whole thing. All right, that's awkward. All right. That's awkward. You just can't. Where did you find the shield? Did you make the shield? I made, I made everything. Yes. Wow. Scale mail. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Right. One of the most recognizable and well-known costumes are that of Trekkies, and I was able to catch up What's with them. What's your name? Emily. Emily? And what made you two decide to dress up as uh, Star Trek hot women? <laughs> we started doing female versions of Kirk and Spock because I've always loved the duo. And uh, we love the new movie and everything, so we thought it would be fun to actually take the new uniforms out of the old one. Now, did you make these or did you buy them? We made them. We actually got the extra large uniform shirts and then we tailored them to ourselves. It took a while and we don't know anything about dressmaking, but we did. You guys look fantastic. Thanks. What about the ears? How long did it take for you? That was, it was take minutes. She just put them right on, a little bit of latex on the side. Wow. That's fantastic. How many years have you guys come to Comic Con? This is our first. Really? Conventions, but never officially San Diego. This is my first as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, first year. So far, so good. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Shrek right here. Mr. and Mrs. Shrek, may I get your picture, please? Thank you. Thank you. What, what made you guys dress up like Trek? For our video? Oh. <laughs> you like to be great. Like, you know, it's, it's fun. Kids love it. Kids well, love I it. certainly love it, and I'm not a kid. I, I think it looks fantastic. How long did it take you to plan this and get ready? I've been doing this for a few years. But the, the Trek and Fiona look, though? Yeah, about three years. Yeah. Nice. That's fantastic. You guys look great. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you so much. You have a lot of fun with you. Wow, look at that from Halo. How long did it take to make your costume? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. It's cardboard with uh, fabric glued over to paint. Nice. Fabric and cardboard? Holy crap! And the helmet? I bought it. You bought the helmet? No way! Halo dude's only like 12 years old. From uh, Ruby's costume shop inside now. Wow, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, Dominique. Dominique's Lisa's agent's assistant. Got that so far? She set up some of our parties and she loves Babby. So she's getting a shout out and a t shirt. Welcome to Comic Con. Too bad you're not here. That's great. Um, how long did it take you to put your costume together? Uh, actually, I'm at a point right now where it takes me about a week to make this particular costume. And what made you decide on Batman Beyond? Because nobody else already does it. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. Is this your first year at Comic Con? Yes, it is. Really? A lot of first years. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. And. It's the Ghostbusters. Let me see the proton packs. Those are badass. Oh, that's so cool! Did you, did you guys build them? How long did it take to build them? Long time. Really? It's off again, on again project for many years. It's been years. This is not the first time we've built these. So it's like several sort of a friend of mine gave me some advice before heading to Comic-Con, and that was, beware the bikini layers. And I didn't know what he meant until I saw them. 